Good morning, everybody. Today is a fun day. We're gonna just beat up on La Signora a little bit and uh, see what happens. I gotta say, I don't think I've ever tried to solo her. Although, I don't imagine it to be overly tricky. Oh. Wow, she does more damage than I expected. Okay, that's a neat little trick. You can actually apply those little feather thingies with both parts of the E. So now we pick that one up. Ow. As you can see, I'm a little out of practice. <laughs> Game's growing a bit stale, to be honest. But, well. Oh, come on. Oops, what happened there? Oh, great, now we... Now for <laughs> little There it is Yay we made it finally and we got terrible items as usual. Aw Electro Oh there we go level sixty has been achieved at long last and I thought I'd take this as um, an opportunity to show where we are at AR60 on the account. So remember, this is with food buff, so we have a bit less attack and 12% less crit, but it should be about 61 to 60. Um, with uh, like 1950 attack, I think. Kaching uses the Mist Splitter Reforged and for Thunder Soother. The Thunder Soother pieces haven't changed because I'm still farming for onset uh, Electro Goblet for Raiden, but then we'll definitely head back um, to the Electro Domain. This is how it looks like. Here, as we can see, I would really appreciate um, a similar uh, circlet, but with more uh, attack percentage added on top. Other than that, I have to say I'm rather happy with where Kaching is at. C6 um, and Triple Crown, naturally, as a Kaching main still. But yeah. We still hope and pray for buffs uh, for Kiching from MiHoYo. Because, well, yeah. As great as she is, she's very underpowered compared to a lot of the newer uh, characters, especially. Then here we have the second main that I picked up. 
which is Eula. Um, because I like Eula hitting really hard with her Q, I run her with only about 50% crit chance, um, usually offset by Cryo Resonance, which gives more, so it's very manageable. And about 219% crit damage and, well, decent amount of attack. She's using her signature weapons, the Song of Broken Pines, um, and also her signature set, which I got really lucky on the flower and uh, the feather, as we can see here. It's probably my best piece. Um, almost uh, 28 percent, uh, almost 50 percent CV, which is pretty great. Uh, unfortunately, the sands are kind of shit, uh, as is the goblet. Still have not found a good physical goblet, which is kind of depressing, but, well, it is what it is. And here we get a lot of attack percentage um, on the circlet, so overall, I'm, I'm decently happy. She's also C6 and triple crowned. And here's our newest main which is the Raiden Shogun, or Raiden A, as I prefer to call her, even though we apparently uh, have to uh, use the puppet most of the time to in our adventures, but oh well. So since uh, her weapon doesn't give any crit stats and she has no crit stat ascension, um, She's at 52.4, 185. Um, because of her weapon, uh, 265 is the cap for energy recharge, which we pretty much reach here. So it's about as optimal as it gets. Crit rate could be higher, but I prefer bigger numbers. And since in Spiral Abyss, um, you can get the crit cards and in overworld you always have the option of popping food i'm um, i'm totally fine with anything above 50 percent um yeah so let's look at the gear here we have like a good amount of crit rate not the best piece not getting extremely lucky in the emblem domain unfortunately Fever the feather is pretty good though that's um about 40% CV could be better, obviously, but, well, here also, uh, close to 40, also could be better, but, yeah. Here's the Electro Goblet, which is offset right now, but I'm still trying to get an onset, and here uh, the circlet is kind of similar to Eula's, just very low rolls on the attack percentage. And also on crit rate, which is unfortunate, but, well, at least it gives enough room for improvement in the future. Then also C6 uh, and triple crowned. So pretty happy with that. And here we have Sara, the, the only electro buff we've gotten in over a year. At the moment, I'm using uh, Skyward Harp on her for the base attack to get the most out of her E boost uh, also for Noblesse for even more buff obviously she's C6 because the C6 is the entire reason why she's the best Electro support at the moment um, giving not only the attack buff but also crit damage buff by 60% for Electro damage she is crowned one time her E for the higher attack buff, and now we're, we'll be working... Oh, look at that. Can even do a level up here. Not another one, but, well, still. So, yeah. We don't really auto-attack with her, so don't really care too much about that. We'll, we'll get it up in time as well, but... Oh well, it's a process. So that was Sara. Then here we have Zhong Li. Who... Oh, 
Currently, he's holding Hu Tao's Homa because I just use him more. He's C5 because if I want to use him together with Hu Tao, I do not uh, want him to heal her and get her above the health threshold for her for her bonuses. So there's that. I only uh, leveled this to 11 and to 12 because, well, let's be honest, the shield is broken as it is. And um, I leveled that because uh, there have been abysses before where CC at the start is kind of invaluable for faster clear times. But, well, at the moment, abyss is growing stale as well. So I don't know what to say about that. There's Kazuha, who's basically an EM bot. Um, he's rocking R1 Freedom Sworn uh, for the 20% attack buff. He gives to my Electro characters, obviously for VV. We can actually bump up the EM a bit higher, but lose out on cooldown reduction. But this is also an option what we can run. He is C2, because the C2 uh, gives him the extra 200 EM, meaning more buff from his ult. And as you can see, I didn't really bother leveling up his skills, because, well, he's just here for his passive, basically. So, he's doing what he's supposed to do for me. Xiao, I don't really use Xiao, so he's wearing whatever right now. Uh, does he have any... Eh, actually, not even that bad. 63, 210 with his Primordial Jade Spear, which I got while rolling for... I believe it was the Jade Cutter. Don't even remember, but yeah, I have no need for it, to be honest since I don't use him, and I really do not enjoy plunge gameplay. So that's why Xiao is C1 and never used. Here's Venti. Basically, I just have him if I need him to group something. So, not, not very, I don't know. Can't really say too much about him, since, well, he's just here too. We have Jean. Um, one notable thing is I use uh, Recharge uh, Sands on Jean because I want her to actually have her ulti up as a healer. And yeah, also not leveled extremely far, but well, she's fine. Uh, like I said, Recharge build, hence Skyward Blade. Here's Ganyu. I actually love Ganyu, but using her is actually a bit boring. At the moment, I have a more consistent Ganyu build uh, on with a uh, crit rate circlet. Usually, I would swap it out for this one. Um, meaning, that's closer to the stats I'd actually run. Uh, probably would have to replace one more piece to get to like 55-60% crit rate. Uh, but with cryo resonance, and f uh, that basically fixes itself. Also, her talent gives her more crit rate on the bloom, which is what matters on Ganyu. Obviously, she's using the Amos bow, still her best weapon, and for troop, she's also C6, and I still have not bothered maxing out her E. Uh, but her normal attack is crowned because that's where. Obviously, her damage comes from. So yeah, there's Ganyu. There's Mona. Still love Mona. And with her, I constantly keep switching her set and her weapon. Sometimes I use Skyward Atlas. Uh, other times, I just use Thrilling Tails for more buffs. And the, 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 uh, the artifacts, I keep switching back and forth between Noblesse and what's it called, uh, Tenacity of the Millilith. Be depending on if I have another Noblesse carry already on the team, because her E actually applies Millilith uh, buff decently well. 
Oh, also C6 by now, and yeah, you can see I I level to twelve. I leveled her her Q to twelve, and that's about it. We have child, very fun. I actually got this bow by accident. Uh, only R1, obviously, but it's apparently still really good on him. So when I'm bored and want something to mess around with, I always enjoy using child, especially in child freeze teams. Not that much of a fan of um, melt child teams, but well, as you can see, I I really have not geared him out properly, but... He's at least always a fun character to use. And here we have Hu Tao. With not her correct weapon. There it is. She is basically built just to one shot. But since I never farmed the pyro domain. Um, her crit damage is not where I want it to be. Which would be the 300. Instead, uh, mine has quite a bit of uh, elemental mastery, so she still hits hard, but, well, she's definitely not where I would like her to be. Anyway, we also have Diluc. Not even geared. I don't like Diluc. Monster Batman is a bit too edgy for me, but, hey, I, I understand that a lot of people... Enjoy his gameplay, so all power to you. Rosaria, also at the moment not geared. She finds some occasional use as a Eula support, which she is decently good at. But yeah, nothing at the moment. Fischl has had a bit of a resurgence uh, thanks to Elegy and uh, being a very good uh, tenacity of the middle lift holder. So that's pretty great. Um, making Fischl, in my opinion, a very, very good uh, off-field DPS and buffer at the same time. Same goes for Beidou, but I got the Akumaru for her, and I can't be bothered to farm the materials to level it up. But apparently it's really good. It, it saves you stacking up Serpent Spine before snapshotting her ult. So that's pretty great. Maybe I'll be more motivated to do something with her. Um, if, uh, not try it. <laughs> uh, watching too much Arcane lately. Um, if Mihoyo decides to fix the Beidou Raiden interaction. But does not look like they will. So, Sag. And we have Lisa, who's basically just here to use her ultimate and debuff uh, defense but also hasn't found much use for me lately uh, mainly because uh, Raiden ignores defense already and shredding defense that you then ignore 40 or 60 percent of I don't remember is well kind of suboptimal then I finally got up my Xingxiu He's actually really fun to use at times as well. I use him with the four emblem set just because it's uh, convenient for me and I got all these leftover pieces from farming for Raiden. Also C6 and I actually leveled his, his ultimate to 12 but I'm sorry Senpi, <laughs> I still haven't leveled his E. Maybe I will some of one of these days. Here's Bennett, basically just high base attack weapon and stacked everything into ER because he's literally just here to use his ult. On the topic of Bennett, I back during the very first iteration of the Spiral Abyss which had the huge pyro damage bonus, I unfortunately activated his C6. So Mihoyo, if you can hear me, please Please let me just disable it. Just let me disable his C6. He would be so much better for me. Uh, when you do, I promise I'll crown him. Not right now. Because this, it just tilts me too much. But 
if I can't disable C6, I'll crown him. <sighs> Here's Shangling. Not finished leveling her skills, but yeah, for Emblem, you all know the deal. Got my leftover R2 Homa. Um, yeah, very good character. Better than Diluc. Ah, oh, Klee, I remember getting her specifically for the very first Abyss because I did not have a Pyro carry back then. And, well, I haven't touched her since then because I do not enjoy her gameplay. Ningguang, I wanted to level her up, but then I realized she's gonna end up like most of my other DPS that aren't Electro or Eula. I just never use her, so she's level 80, not really geared, unfortunately. Although she is a very fun character to use, in my opinion. Maybe with Goro coming out and buffing um, Geo, she's gonna, she's gonna, I don't know, rise in popularity, become better. Can't really say. Yeah, Sucrose is just budget Kazuha. Um, I have some leftover gear on her, so she actually has 600 EM. But, yeah, I don't know, not too much to say about Sucrose. I haven't used her at the start too much, and I do not really use her now. I basically would always use Mona instead of Sucrose. So, oh well. Chongyun, don't really use him. Razor, he carried me through floor 10 and floor 11 back in the first abyss. Good times. Haven't used him since, but... Well, he was a good boy. Xinyan, people like to shit on her, but uh, with Gravestone, she's actually one of the very best Eula supports uh, when it comes to nuke damage. Because you can actually proc the Gravestone with her, I think, E. Um, which also gives the, yeah, there gives physical damage buff uh, to Eula. And coupled with the Gravestone buff, it's pretty big. So, yeah, actually pretty great Eula support. Chi Chi, I hate you. All these pities I lost to her. Uh, there's Ayaka. I should level her up one day. I actually got her completely by accident and then even got her C1. It was a funny story. Um, I pulled for... I don't even remember what the weapon was. Ah, yeah. Uh, for Kiching's weapon. For Mist Splitter. And accidentally, while trying to pull on the weapon banner... <laughs> I did one pull on the character banner after topping up and Ayaka uh, came out. Then I I finished up the pulling and stuff and uh, realized I needed some more mats from the shop. So I thought, you know what, I'll do a 10 pull on the character banner and I should get enough glitter to buy whatever I, it was that I needed. Um, and Lo and behold, I got Ayaka C1. So, that was pretty funny. Uh, if she gets rerun, I will probably get her to C4 because her C4 actually makes her an amazing cryo support. So, good chances I'll actually do that. For now, still level 60. Haven't really used her much. Um, but her stats are kind of decent, so... One of these days, if only I could get a bit more motivated to actually play the game again, but without any end game, yeah. Diona, I hate Diona. Barbara, well, she's Barbara. Maybe she would be fun to use as like DPS charge attack Barbara, but well, I don't want to farm Hydro Domain for her. Kaya. Don't use Kaya, don't really use Amber. The only time I used Amber was as an elegy buffer um, to apply the pyro with and, and proc elegy. 
which, yeah, not too bad, actually. Aloy. Never used her. Don't think I like her. Noelle. Apparently, a lot of people say she's best girl, but, well, she's Geo. I don't really need Geo. I don't like kid characters, so... Yeah. And she has antlers. Why does she have antlers? Yeah, just not a fan. So there we have it. That's that's all the characters on my account. With Kiching still being my favorite, which will never change. There we can see a lot of leveled leveled artifacts. Still not a single one over fifty CV. And. This domain right here is still giving me nightmares, but, well, you know what, let's just see if that one rolls crit rate, although it doesn't even have attack percent. No, yeah. death, garbage. There we go. Why do we have that locked? I don't know. Probably just get rid of it. Yep, death again. There we go. That's how this game treats you. Oh man. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit bored at times at the moment. And yeah, I really hope we get some some more interesting endgame content. Uh, so it's actually fun to play. But, well, that's been my level 60 and a little overview where my account stands. So, thank you all for watching and for the support. I hope it wasn't too boring to listen to me ramble for, oh, Jesus Christ, almost half an hour. I'm very sorry about that, but wish you all a great week and talk to you again at some point.